What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jay Savage. We are back with another video today for you guys. We are going to be talking about some interesting, interesting news that just came out a little earlier today or like last night, something like that. I, I don't really know the times, but we'll see in a second here. But if y'all do enjoy these videos, these news type videos, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, make sure you hit the bell so you don't miss videos. And let's get right to the video. Okay, so first things first, obviously, this banner is going to be leaving soon. Uh, this, the, you know, this this banner is going to be leaving on 10 10 which is tomorrow which is tonight it's going to be tonight kind of 1 a.m tonight for eastern you know standard time uh i think that's what like uh 10 o'clock for pacific and central is going to be in between um 11 and 12 but yes we got that we're going to come to this in a second hold on let's scroll down first so obviously we were talking. To, obviously, so we gonna have some half off Santa. Oh, okay, this banner leaves too. I think this banner is also about to be leaving. Yeah, I think it does. Yeah, ten ten. Okay, so that banner is gonna be leaving. Or, okay, we were talking about that. All right, so we have have. Uh, so after the maintenance, we're going to have development quest. Development quest. Development quest. Uh, uh, development. I'm trying to think. What is what? what uh, is that supposed to be like training? I guess that's training quest. Uh, this might be main story. Yep, main story. All right, so we will have training and uh, main story half stamina. That's great. That's gonna be after the maintenance. Um, well, it's gonna be on ten eleven. So I guess this might not come to the eleventh. Yeah. So this won't come to the eleventh. So not even after the maintenance. So it, the the eleventh will get that. Uh, obviously the maintenance it was gonna be for three hours like usual. So first news here. We have the Hobby Japan Shion banner coming back for a rerun. Man, they are some freaking assholes for dropping. She is an amazing. She's one of the. She's the only other unit other than the Azure Lane, um, Vina that has the increases levels of all characters. Right, the skill of all of, of all characters. But both of them characters are limited. But. I, Obviously, that Venus better because stats alone, Venus easily better. Uh, but the Xion, for one, is Xion. She looks amazing as always. And then obviously it's collaboration with the outfit, so you get the little outfit, which is like a little swimsuit outfit. But it's Xion. Come on now, she's fucking like this is one of my favorite characters. She's not at the top. She's probably my third or fourth. But my favorite too is still being on me and uh and, and, and uh, um Yudi. So you know, but she is definitely at least top five. Um so that banner's coming back sucks. I won't be able to summon on it. So oh well, not gonna do about it. I I don't I don't think you should summon. This is my was no matter what we know what Hobby Japan Shion does. You should not summon for one stats alone. Her stats is going to be way worse than the stats of these characters gonna be coming up uh, for first anniversary. Two first anniversary is a week away, or two weeks away basically. You will be dumb to summon on this banner. Literally, when this banner ends is when the for, uh, first anniversary is going to be starting. And those units are going to be probably insane. And I'm guessing it'll be two parts. Hopefully, it's just two parts, not three. Because if there's three parts, they better be given enough marine stones to make me go to pity for all three banners. But you're going to need every little bit that you can. But if you are, you, know, you spend money, then hey, go ahead. Hey, you know, I wish you best of luck. Because I went on, on her initial banner, I did a Maltese. Never got her. So good luck to anybody who does summon on that banner. This banner is a special banner to me, right? For one, obviously it does have me. I mean, my beautiful, beautiful baby here, and then the kitty. I also love Kitty Izumi. She is an amazing character. I love her. Like, just the way she laughs and talks is amazing to me. So so cute. Um, and then she just looks adorable, right? But this is the so obviously uh, I, I I've said this multiple times. I started playing this game right when it came out. But I didn't get to play that long because I ended up losing my account when I got mad and I stopped playing. This is the this is the first banner. This banner was literally about to leave. Like I think it was, uh, like a couple days left inside. Like like with this banner, this is the first banner that that was out when I came back to the game. And I ended up getting me not me in like the first five Maltese. And and you know it's a hey, I've been and that was like I didn't start doing videos yet. I I, I think I started doing videos the. Right when this banner ended is when I started doing videos on YouTube on this game. So, I love this banner. This banner is, you know, it was my first UR Dolphin that I actually got, well, like, summoned for and actually got. Um, and I, I, I still use and love this Minami still today. So, I'm glad they, they bring this back. I hope they get buffed soon. Hopefully, we see some buffs for first anniversary. 
But now for the the news that probably everybody is here for, because this, this gonna be this probably gonna be the thumbnail for the video. It's a pre-first anniversary banner, I think. I'm so confused. I don't know if this is paid or not. Cause okay, so listen. So here's what it says: Limited Dolphin gotcha. Uh, Limited Dolphin confirmed gotcha preview just before first anniversary. After maintenance ten ten, we will hold a Limited Dolphin guaranteed gotcha just before the first anniversary. A special gotcha where SSR, uh, Saki uh, Saki Mia Iruka. Summer Yukata, Yukata, yeah, which has been strengthened with one, one 1500 paid marine stones will always appear. Get a limited edition dolphin. So I'm guessing for for one, she's a SSR. Did, so okay, 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 okay. So I don't understand this. So they're doing a so she's gonna be limited. So I'm, I'm guessing it's probably gonna be the be one of the only times you be to get her. But she's an SSR, and you have to pay to get her. But you're guaranteed to get her if you pay to get her. Why couldn't y'all make her a UR? Because that means her stats are going to be lower. That means it's not like she she still looks cute. Obviously, she looks cute. The, the The outfit looks nice also. But I don't get it. But it's only but this will be here for a long time because this go run through anniversary. Cause this go this well this go run through the first part of the anniversary. Cause I'm I'm guessing this probably when the second part go start on this date right here that we're seeing on the screen. I don't agree with dropping a paid banner before an anniversary for an SSR. I don't get that. That makes okay. Cause like okay a paid uh, but period. I don't think there should be a paid banner. For pre anniversary, but y'all had the audacity to give us a SSR. You paying 1500 marine stones for an SSR, you're basically only paying for the outfit because I'm, I'm positive the characters gonna be shit because most SSR characters are shit. So you're basically only gonna be paying for the outfit. So I don't like that, I, I'm not a fan of that. I, I'm hoping this is a typo and that she's a UR and that she's going to be in the being at least good because you're making them like you're making people pay for this. So at least make the character good. So hopefully she's this is just a typo and she's supposed to be a UR and, and hopefully she's actually good. Because if you're paying for SSR that's bad, that's that's a scam. That's a scam. So I can't say nothing about this yet. I'll, I'll talk more about it tomorrow once we see it end game, once we see what she does with that. But if, if this is, like, just true and she's an actual SSR, and then, obviously, she has the regular SSR abilities and stuff like that, then this is a fucking ripoff. And I'm, I'm really hoping people don't pay for it and don't buy this, but people are going to buy it. Because mostly for the outfit and for collection purposes, right? So it's going to get bought no matter what. Some people are going to buy it. But I would recommend don't buy it, right? Definitely if this is going to be an actual SSR and it's, it's not good. If it's a regular SSR, like, just like we usually get, our, our SSR suck in this game. Like, definitely, the, like, the, the free ones, I, this is a paid one, so maybe, you know, she might get some special treatment, which I'm hoping she does get some special treatment because she needs it. But we will see. We will see. But that's going to be it for this video. I just want to talk about that because that had me confused. That had me really, really confused about this, this banner that they're putting out. But uh, that will be a fifth one. But oh, oh, well, one more thing too. I'm guessing that we're definitely not getting Kirishima for the first anniversary, which is great. I, like, like I said, my predictions is new team. I'm gonna say this one more time. My prediction for anniversaries is the new team uh, I, I, is ISRW. I will see y'all in the next one. The next one's why are we talking about the update tomorrow? So uh, I will see y'all in that video. I hope y'all did enjoy this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you like, make sure you best and subscribe for your videos. And I will see y'all in the next video. Just time to y'all. Peace.